Hey there, this is Fritz Westover, your viticulturist here at Virtual Viticulture Academy and on the Vineyard Underground podcast. And I'm going to answer a question from a grower from the field east of the Rockies who has some issues on their leaves, and we suspect it is a mildew problem. So let's take a look at what we have here and answer that question so this grower can get on their way and find some solutions. So, okay, the mildew concern is this. The grower says, I've noticed some downy mildew on my traminet. It's in its third leaf or third year and on my recent Chardonnay in its second leaf or second year. They both have looked good all season until recently. It has been pretty warm and dry, just a few light rains over the past six weeks, but we've been having very heavy dew in the mornings and of course, plenty of humidity overall. Uh, I last sprayed these vines with some captan, that's a fungicide, uh, about a month ago. Um, and then the grower goes, goes on to say, I have Zampro, which is another downy mildew uh, fungicide, and was thinking of doing a spray with that and maybe captan as well. I would love some feedback on the best way to deal with this to protect my vines now and lessen disease pressure going into next season. So, okay, so this question is a good question. And late season downy mildew, for those of you who grow grapes, and climates um, that have moisture during the post-harvest period or even from verasion through dormancy, downy mildew can creep in and it can completely defoliate your vines. And you can see here on the photo, there is active sporulation of downy mildew spores on the underside of the leaf. That's where we look for downy mildew. Powdery mildew is going to be in the upper side of the leaf or on the canes or on the fruit. Downy mildew is typically late in the season found on the underside of leaves and early in the season on the underside of leaves or on flowers or fruit. So what we're gonna do here is consider the overall situation. You had just a little bit of rainfall. It's been hot and dry, but that little bit of rainfall probably splashed spores from the ground up onto the vines. And that's how downy mildew is introduced onto green parts of your vine. Then what happened is you have this morning dew and downy mildew is an O spore, which means the spores have these little propellers on them, if you will, uh, that help them move through moisture. So when you have free moisture, like mild, like a morning dew that's sitting on the leaf, they can move around on the leaf and get into the plant and cause these spores or these patches of spores, which are the, um, the production of the next generation of downy mildew. And so, and when you have a lot of these spores, if you have spores like this all over your vineyard, you really don't want to go out and apply your best materials that are susceptible to resistance from the disease. So in other words, if you sprayed something like Captan, which you mentioned, that is a, um, a conventional spray product that is used to prevent downy mildew, but it doesn't last more than a week or two. And then if you have rain and splashing, your leaves that are out there don't have coverage and they can get infected with the downy mildew. If you go in and apply a Captan spray again, unfortunately, Captan is not a product that will eradicate downy mildew. In fact, there's very few products that eradicate downy mildew. And uh, even some of them that do work effectively to eradicate downy mildew may have an issue with the downy mildew disease developing resistance to them. And when you have, again, a high population of spores, like we see here on the underside of the leaves in your vineyard, we really don't want to use products that we're worried about resistance development by the pathogen um, developing or occurring. So we're going to try to choose products that have low resistance um, risk. So a product like Mancozeb could be used. Uh, that's a common product in conventional spray programs. There's lots of variations of that product. So please read your label use the highest labeled rate and make sure you mix it with adequate water and get good coverage. Um, those products are what we call multiple site mode of action products. So there's no known resistance to those fungicides by the disease, but you have to check the pre-harvest interval because the pre-harvest interval on most of your Manzate or Mancozeb products is going to be about 66 days. So um, because your vineyard is young and there's no fruit in there, you could apply something like a Mancozeb. The captan could also work to help stop spread. Mancozeb can help stop the spread, but they don't technically suppress or eradicate the disease. So the best you can do late in the season now is try to slow the spread of this disease. Now, you could try a phosphorus acid product. There's many available out there. Examples of brands include K-Fight, Profite, Fostrol, uh, Rampart. There's many, many. And uh, follow the label on those. Uh, typically, too much of those can cause burn. So you want to be careful when you're using phosphorus acid products. If you're interested in using phosphorus acid products safely, I do have a grower guide on that topic. 
at virtualviticultureacademy.com. Click on the learn tab, go into grower guides, and you can search phosphorus acid um, under the um, search um, bar. So that's going to help you find out how to use that safely. Um, the reason I would not use the Zampro, Zampro is a newer mode of action, um, a number 45 mode mixed with a mode of action group for downy mildew fungicide that we've had around for many years now, which is the number 40 group. That's a FRAC group, a fungicide resistance action committee group. If you use the 40 and 45 and put them onto this high population of spores, the risk is that we select for spores that have some kind of mutation that are not affected by the mode of action, the single mode of action by either the 45 or the 40 number components of that Zampro fungicide. And if that happens, we allow that, that um, resistant strain to overwinter to the next season, and we then have resistance to that product in our vineyard. So I prefer to use late in the season products that are not at risk for resistance, low resistance um, risk fungicides. And I actually will. Uh, um, just tolerate a little bit of downy mildew or a little bit of disease rather than trying to kill it and then put our product's future function at risk in the vineyard. So um, that would be my advice. Also, make sure you check the pH of your water when you're spraying, especially because you listed Captan. I can tell you that the pH of your spray water can um, affect how, how useful or effective the fungicide is. We typically want a more acidic about 5.5 pH on our spray water before adding a product like Captan. So look up um, the preferred pH of these products for your spray water as well. I just wanted to give an extra tip that that's important. And I hope sincerely that this will result in a disease-free vineyard next year and also in a vineyard where you don't have a strain of downy mildew that's already resistant to some of the products that you intend to use. So um, try this out. Let me know what you think. If anyone has questions, you can always send them to me. Uh, just visit virtualviticultureacademy.com or you can go to the vineyardundergroundpodcast.com, click on the Ask Fritz button and uh, write me a question. It comes directly to me. I'd be happy to answer yours sometime as well. Take care and be a better grape grower.